us begin the introduction, the parade of flowers. See, hit it. Wow. <laughs> I don't know who the ushers are, but I want a good count of today. <sighs> Welcome to the Unitarian Universalist Church of Tampa on this glorious Flower Communion Sunday. Thank you for being here. It certainly looks like we're ready to share our abundance of flowers. Ah, the fragrance from up here. I'm Joan Lund. I'm honored to be the worship associate today. Our church is associated with the Unitarian Universalist Association. Ours is a free faith, hopefully filled with love, humility, and courage, stemming from our long history. We value the unique gifts that you bring and celebrate your presence among us on this special <coughs> Easter Sunday day. Welcome. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Wow, look at this fabulous, wonderful bunch of people. And look at this beautiful array of flowers in front of us. I am the Reverend Patricia Owen, and it is my great pleasure to serve this congregation as its called minister. I bring to you two brief but very important announcements this morning. First of all, after service today, we will have a potluck. And word on the street is, we will have an Easter egg hunt. Who's in the mood for an Easter egg hunt? Yeah. All right. Lots of people. Lots of people. And our second announcement today, this is a little early. It's a week early. But very important that everyone who is a member here, a member in good standing, knows that May 7th is our congregational meeting. So I want you to put that on your calendar. You will be served lunch. Again, if you are a member in good standing, I hope to see a full house on May 7th. With those brief announcements, and the brief announcement from the back there or up in the front, I don't know where that's coming from, I say welcome to each and every one of you this morning for this flower communion. Welcome to a time of worship. Good morning. So my name is Erin Powers, and I'm the Director of Religious Education here for Children and Youth. And today I have our opening words. So enter into the communion of flowers. Enter with joyful hearts. Enter with relevant thoughts. It takes months of rest for these flowers to prepare for their blooming. It has taken each of us long times of growth through sorrow and joy to prepare for our living now. The blooming season is short. The flowers stay only a brief time. We are travelers upon this earth. We are travelers through all the brief lifetimes. Therefore, let our moments be bountiful. Let us rejoice in our uniqueness, our differences that make us beautiful. Let us celebrate together in love on this day of renewal among the flowers. Let our moments be bountiful. 
Let us settle into a space right now where we are mindful of how absolutely bountiful our lives are, how bountiful we are in community, how grateful we are to be together. Let us rejoice in this time of worship in our uniqueness, just like these flowers. Each of us is different. Each of us is beautiful. As we light the chalice, the symbol of our faith, may we set our hearts and minds on one universal fact. Where there is love, there is light. And where there is light, the flowers will bloom.